Hey everybody, it is the Honey Badger, and today we are going to be taking the bed off of the pickup. Now this is gonna do a couple things for us. One, we need to get in between the, the cab and the bed because there's rust on the backside of the bed and there is um, peeling paint on the backside of the cab. We also need to wrap the backside of the cab, which will probably be the first thing we wrap so then we can put the bed back on the pickup. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm even gonna call this video at the moment because realistically, there's multiple things we can do to prep that for the wrap side of things and fix just some bare metal and some peeling paint. Or we can look at the actual chassis of the pickup underneath the bed and see if there's any rust treatment we need to do or if there's anything that needs clean because obviously this will give us a whole new angle looking at the actual chassis of the pickup. So we're gonna go ahead and unbolt this and take it off. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. I can't imagine it is. I think it'll probably be about four bolts in disconnecting the tail lights. So our wiring harnesses that are connected to that are disconnected so nothing gets ripped off the bed when we go to lift up the actual bed and set it off to the side for now. So um, we'll see where this gets us. I don't really know. Maybe we'll wrap while we have all this uncovered once we have this fully prepped uh, on the backside of the cab. But until then, uh, let's just pull this bed off and see what we're working with. this is a little bit awkward I forgot to hit record on the camera when me and my buddy took the bed off so the grand reveal wasn't really that grand it's just off the truck now but let's take a closer look at what all happened so we have bolt spot number one right there two right there and three right there and then three on the other side in the exact same right across so those are your six bolts that come off to relieve, uh, relieve the bed from its mounting spots. You do also have, at least I have, this was connected to the, to the bottom of the bed up above, so just one bolt takes that out. We'll just leave that there for now. And then obviously any wiring you have for your rear, rear lights or hitch or anything like that, which mine's been cut apparently a long time ago, so mine's wired a little weird. But anyways, a couple things just undone and it was really easy. So obviously we have the bed off, which is good. Now we can prep the back of the cab, which if we look at it, not in the world's worst shape, very dirty. And we do have the uh, paint chipping up at the top left. We'll clean that up and we'll get that prepped and we'll probably wrap that first. And then on the back of the actual bed itself, tons of peeling paint and a little bit of rust down at the bottom. Um, so we'll get that taken care of. You can see a lot of the paint um, chipping off onto the floor. I just ran my hand over it and it just comes straight off. So we'll get that prepped and we'll get everything cleaned up and we'll get wrapped what we need wrapped and protected and anything sprayed that needs sprayed and we'll go from there. Oh, hi everybody, it's my reflection in my window. So we need to have a quick talk about what is going on with this mid video update. I've learned a lot recently and it all actually makes perfect sense. I did a lot of research and learned that you can sand your vehicle and you can try to wrap it, but that's not actually gonna be the best practice. Now what happens is when you go to wrap, you have to lift the vinyl on and off the vehicle to get it to smooth out, to lay, to pull up, to adjust, all that type of stuff. You don't just like set it down and they're like, cool, I'm done. So I test wrapped a few spots and it still pulled this paint up here and here. And I only test wrapped a spot like this big here and a test spot like across this way, just trying across different angles on fresh paint 
where I've sanded, where the body lines hit, or not body lines, but where the metal hits the actual paint. So I tested it and it's pulling up the original paint that was still stuck to the car, you know, fairly well. I mean, better than spots where there's no paint. And I watched more YouTube videos of people painting or prepping their vehicles like this and then wrapping their cars. And I noticed they don't show the spots that they had to prep like this because I guarantee you it didn't work for them. Um, I've seen it in two videos. One of them they covered up by putting like a toolbox in front of him. The other guy never, he shows him wrapping his car after he's prepped it. He wraps one door and then he never shows the front of the car where he did all the prep work. So I'm not saying it didn't work for them. I'm guessing it didn't because if you take a vehicle like this to a place that does vinyl wrapping, they're gonna tell you, you need a brand new paint job. So I knew I needed to probably spray something down first. So I haven't done that on that section because I don't think rattle canning that's going to be sufficient enough. So what I've actually done is luckily I have access to a paint booth where I work. I took this front top part off that goes here. I took this off into work. As you can see, it's crazy shiny. Um, this is even like fully prepped. There's a little bit of stuff you can see in the paint because this isn't buffed. This is just to do a test. But we decided to spray this which is in the condition of basically the rest of the truck. It had some bare metal, it had some of this paint. We're gonna see if this can withstand being wrapped and having the heat and just the pliability of pulling the vinyl on and off this piece over and over, you know, adjusting. I'm gonna put this through its paces with some test vinyl to see if this is wrappable. If this is wrappable, that means the whole truck needs sprayed, I'm gonna say it mildly professional with, a, with like a stage one paint. That would be great. And that would be what happens. And honestly, at that point, I would maybe just paint the truck and not wrap it because it have a really nice fresh paint job because that piece looks really good. Now, if that doesn't work and that's still gonna pull up paint, what I'm gonna have to do is probably prep the entire truck even harder, probably down to bare metal. I and mean, we're talking full on Primo paint job and we would do something really cool and it would just get a very nice paint job. Again, I luckily have access to a booth um, and can basically just buy the paint and spray it with a friend. So I'm lucky in that regard that I have the ability to probably have that happen. It's gonna basically be sprayed anyways at this point, mildly professional, instead of just rattle cans because that's really not gonna work for wrapping. Now, if this works and we wanna continue with the wrap, then that's my, that might be an option. I still haven't currently decided. I might also save the wrap for my wife's car because it would look also sick on her car. So um, that's where we're at. I wanted to let you guys know that that's the case. If you have a project like this or you have paint that's been doing what my paint has been doing and you just want to wrap over it. I'm not saying you couldn't wrap over it. You could, but the minute you go to peel it off, you're going to take all the paint off underneath it. You're going to be probably in a worse state because of it. And I actually have another quick story about that actually happening to me. Now, one of my previous cars had a door repainted on it and I put vinyl on the door for when I was autocrossing that vehicle. And after the season was over, I peeled that off and ripped all of the clear coat off of it actually very similar i'll put a picture in but similar to like this how this started just pulling off but it did it down the whole door um and that was because that door was not repainted very well um it probably wasn't baked correctly it was probably sprayed i'm guessing with way too high of humidity i have no idea who did the work it, again i got it that way uh, when i bought it the door had been repainted because i think a cart went into it super hard and needed fixed but um i've had that problem before so i totally understand why you cannot put vinyl over shoddy paint work and expect it to last long term. So this needs to be addressed the correct way and I want you guys to know that we're gonna be doing that because I'm not gonna tell you, hey, just sand this and throw vinyl over it. It's gonna be perfect and don't expect to have any issues while wrapping or if you ever take it off. I'm not gonna tell you that because that's not the truth and i rather do this correctly because I want this to look good when it's done and that's where we're at. And we're already pulled apart so painting this would be pretty easy at this point for a lot of this vehicle so um, prepping it was going to put us into that position anyway. So I wanted to let you guys know if you found this helpful, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know what you would do if this works and you would still continue with the wrap or if that works and you're like, Hey, just why not paint it some kind of awesome color or just paint it cause it'll look clean. Let me know down below in the comments, subscribe for future videos and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.